Welcome to What's New in Burbank. The Burbank Parks and Recreation Department is hosting its annual Scooter Mania event at the Burbank BMX Skate Park at Valley Park on Saturday, February 27th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Bring your scooter on down for free scooting, free food, free music, free games, and other fun-free activities for everyone. Every kid gets a free raffle ticket to win prizes like t-shirts and gift cards, and there will be scooter contests like Best Trick and Best Park Jam to win even more prizes. Once again, Scooter Mania is being held Saturday, February 27th at the Burbank BMX Skate Park at Valley Park, located at 1625 North Valley Street. Call 818-238-5390 for more information. The annual Burbank Public Library Photo Contest is now a snapshot in history as the winners have been named and their photos mounted and hung for display. Those winning photos and others from the competition can be seen on the second floor of the Burbank Central Library at 110 North Glen Oaks Boulevard. There were 113 entries in the contest this year in such categories as still life, animals, people unposed, 12 years and under, scenic, people posed, and Burbank. This photo by Renee Silverman won best of show. The exhibition of the photos goes through Saturday, February 27th during regular hours at the Burbank Central Library, except when the second floor auditorium is in use. For more information, call 818-238-5580. The Burbank Civic Pride Committee is looking for two senior citizens to honor who have made an impact on the community. Two individuals, 70 or older, will be selected as Burbank Senior King and Burbank Senior Queen and will get to ride in Burbank on Parade on Saturday, April 23rd at 11 a.m. So if you or someone you know is 70 or older, fill out this application to nominate that someone. Applications can be picked up at any City of Burbank public counter like City Hall, the Community Services Building, Park Facilities, and Senior Centers. Or simply go to BurbankCA.gov, wait for this banner to appear, click on it, print it, fill it out, and return it to the City of Burbank Public Information Office. All the information you need is on the application form. The deadline is March 18th. Come out to the Burbank Central Library on Saturday, February 20th for a do-it-yourself seed bomb social and help bring back the bees. In recent years, there's been a dramatic drop in the global honeybee population. Bees pollinate many plants and fruit trees that provide food for humans. Planting native wildflowers is a simple way to help increase the pollinator's habitat. A seed bomb is a little ball made up of a combination of compost, clay, and seeds. At the Do-It-Yourself Seed Bomb Social, you can make a variety of seed bombs, and all materials will be provided. So drop by the Burbank Central Library on Saturday, February 20th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. and create your own seed bombs that you can watch grow, bloom, and help bring back the bees, because even a small change can make a big difference. Drop by the Burbank Central Library on Thursday, February 11th from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. for three silent films accompanied by live piano music. Composer and pianist Michael Mortilla will provide the live music for a four-minute silent film from 1921 and a 15-minute silent film from 1914. Then it's on to the main silent flick called One Week starring Buster Keaton. The film from 1920 runs 25 minutes. It all happens on Thursday, February 11th from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Burbank Central Library. The Colony Theater has announced its 41st season featuring five shows including a star-powered world premiere. The Colony, located in the Burbank Town Center, has produced award-winning live theater for more than four decades. And after the new year, two world premieres, the new musical Another Roll of the Dice in February, and in April, legendary actress Patty Duke becomes Mary Lincoln, sharing stories and memories as the wife of Abraham Lincoln. For information on all these plays and how you can purchase season tickets, visit colonytheater.org. I'm Peter Masurlian, and this has been What's New in Burbank.